I recently bought a soldering station from eBay um, and it came with a European plug in it and they supplied an adapter. Now, one of the things with these soldering stations is that according to the interviews, the interviews, the reviews online for the, that type of soldering station, it's a very generic type, it goes under various names, and they say you should check that the earthing's got continuity through. So I opened it up and I checked, yep, it was fully earthed right through to the European connector. And then they supply this little adapter with it in the box and it completely defeats the earth. There is no earth. Um, it's got the option of a two pin Europe or, oh Jesus, um, uh, it's got the American or, you can twist these to make them, I don't know, Australian or Japanese. It says, uh, it says things like, Oh, where does it say it? Yeah, USA or Australia and other countries. Uh, so goodness knows uh, what way these. But uh, that locks out. Uh, <coughs> you pop that out and lock it, and it turns it into that connector. Uh, then you can push that in, and then for the UK, um, oh crikey, um, it's got the square pin plug with the plastic earth pin. There's no earthing continuity through this. But I thought it's an interesting enough design. Uh, again, that locks out when you want to use it. So let's uh, open it and see how well it's made inside, shall we? Because the first thing I did was cut the plug off and put a proper Earth UK plug on. So, oh, this also, it's got a little red LED that does light and it also says it's got a surge protector in it. Let's see if it has. So that's one screw. I also want to see if these pins disconnect from each other. Oh, it's very springy. I can feel it going, oh, crikey, yeah. Oh, lots of springs. Um, yeah. Oh, right, okay. So when these pop out, they actually don't make contact until they're at the end of their travel. Pull these springs off. The LED, uh, which flickered quite uh, strongly at 50 hertz, which is our voltage over here, suggests it's an ordinary LED and it appears to have two resistors um, in series with it and probably running at quite low current and probably pushing those resistors quite hard. Uh, there is a metal oxide varistor um, in there uh, for surge suppression, which is very small, but I mean, I suppose technically speaking, it does fulfill that requirement. Um, what about when the European ones swung around? Oh yeah, it's got little studs in the back uh, that also spring against the metal. So yeah, when these connectors are, are parked, they don't actually make connection with the thing itself. Yeah, it does appear to have a locking mechanism. How good is the locking mechanism? Oh, not sure about the locking mechanism. No, the locking mechanism is rubbish. Yeah, so again, this is one of these connectors that you could actually uh, put the plug in with the pin hanging out the side and that means the current would be flowing from the live connection through the appliance and coming back uh, through this pin, external pin. So you could get a shock off that. Um, yeah, really it's what I'd expect from, um, from China really. I mean, it's just a cheap... I mean, it, it tries to be a modest quality uh, unit, but it's it's not that great. But anyway, it's not getting used because uh, it's not really ideal for the application. But it was fun to take to bits anyway. And that's that.